you don't want them to swallow it too hard and get it stuck in their gullet. Um, if that happens, just cut the hook. Um, it'll rust out. So I don't know about you, but I've got hooked more fish than I care to admit. And if you listen to me from back in 2016, leaving it in there will rust out. So I want to know if that was actually true, because to be honest with you, I was just repeating information that other people have told me. So what I did was I threw a hook in a bottle of water, and this bottle of water has been sitting since January 16th. Uh, it's now March 13th, I think. So it's almost been in here for two months. So let's open it and see if that hook actually rusts out. So here she is. So let's take her out. See what it looks like. So there it is, guys. I mean, there's no there's no rust from what I can see. There's a little bit of rust if you get in where the uh, where the bend meets the shaft, but the rest of it's still there. There is no movement. All right, so there you go. Doesn't rust out. Whoa, so so what do I do? Do I still cut the line? Do I try and take it out? I don't know. There was actually a study done in 2009 about this subject. And what they used was just commercially available size 10 barb J hooks. And they did it on bluegill, not bass. So what they did was they took 24 bluegills and they tried... Uh, a few different things to see how long the fish would survive and what kind of stress was done. Um, they investigated swimming performance, their physiological condition, injury levels, and of course uh, lethal consequences. Now obviously we don't care too much about the other stuff, although I guess it all kind of impacts the fish at some point, but what we're looking at here is just the, the lethal repercussions of leaving a hook that obviously doesn't rust out in a fish's gullet. So the mortality after 10 days was only three fish. So out of 24, three fish actually passed away because of the hook uh, that was in there. And what they found was actually if there was any symptoms, so bleeding, uh, things like that, obviously these were the ones that died. Now the really interesting part is after 10 days, 17 of the fish just expelled the hooks. I mean, these, these were gullet hook fish, and they came by 10 days later, and there was hooks all over the bottom of the tank. And when they checked the fish, there was no hook left inside the gullet. So they actually threw up or got rid of, of that hook. And they pointed out in this study to other studies that did uh, the same kind of research, uh, but with other fish like salmon and stuff like that. So it does depend on the fish on how long it's going to take to get that hook out of their system. I think I read that salmon take possibly up to like two months uh, for them to expel that hook. But it doesn't impact their feeding, which I would have thought for sure, you know, not being able to, to actually swallow fish uh, would be a problem, but that's not a problem. They are able to swallow fish. Now it is impeded. If I read, if I remember the article correctly, it is impeded, uh, so they don't eat as much, and that could be due to anything I'm just assuming here. It could be due to discomfort or whatever, uh, but they are still able to eat, which is good. So although the study shows that a gullet hookfish can expel the hook, that's not always the case, obviously. There were three fish out of the 24 that passed away if you see injury so if there's bleeding and things like that there's a good chance that that fish is not gonna live and in the study most of those fish that died off they were right away I mean there was obviously uh, an organ issue uh, they got poked in an organ or, or they're bleeding or something like that so if you see anything like that you're probably guaranteed that the fish isn't gonna survive so what can we do as anglers to kind of prevent that, that gullet hook fish? Obviously paying more attention, uh, keeping tighter lines just to be able to react with a hook set rather than let them take that bait all the way down. 
Uh, there are going to be obviously times when, when we can't do that and, and they are going to get gullet hooked. So a few things that you can do hardware wise is actually get more of a round bend hook, uh, especially if you're using live bait. If you're using live bait, get more of a round bend hook, it's easier, or easier, it's harder for that fish to, to get that hook down inside their gullet. So it gives you a little bit more time. And obviously if that fish does get hooked in the gullet, uh, maybe don't try and take it out. What I will link here though is uh, is a how to remove a gullet hook. Now this was a video that was done by uh, a biologist I believe. Uh, you'll have to check it out for yourself uh, but I'm pretty sure it was a biologist that did it and he shows how to actually uh, turn the hook from the gills, reaching up through the gills and turning the hook uh, and apparently the hook just pops out. I'm not so sure if I'm comfortable doing that um, but apparently he says it, it works and there's a video of him doing it and there's no blood uh, and the, the fish seems okay. Um, so uh, I'll leave that up to you, but that is another option I guess that's available to us. So thanks for watching guys. I'm honestly curious if you like this video, if you like these types of videos, uh, if you even learned anything, uh, leave a comment below and of course give this thing a thumbs up. This is how I know that you guys are liking the content that I'm putting out and I'll make more of it if you like it. And if you don't, I'll, I'll find something else uh, that you might be interested in. So if you want to give hints and tips and suggestions as well, feel free. So again, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.